Welcome back to my channel. This is View 3 ZG Suraj here. Today we will discuss setting up cat control for RTL SDR V4 dongle with WSGTX on Raspberry Pi 4. Before proceeding, ensure you have uninstalled old RTL SDR drivers and installed the new ones. Visit rtl-sdr.com slash v4 slash for rtl sdr v4 user guide and driver update steps after updating drivers reboot the pi for changes to take effect moving on to cat control configuration install gqrx and wsjtx via apt using sudo apt install gqrx hyphen str and sudo apt install wsjtx commands once installed open gqrx go to the file menu and click on io devices a pop-up window will appear to configure input output devices make sure that the iq input settings are correctly populated based on your rtl sdr connection for audio output settings, select default to forward audio output to the default playback devices. Example HDMI device in my case. Adjust the settings if needed. Keeping in mind you can modify them later if required. Now to redirect the audio output from GQRX to WSJTX. First, create a virtual audio sync and select it as audio output device in GQRX. Begin by opening the command prompt and executing commands to start Pulse Audio and create virtual iPhone sync one. Afterward, in GQRX, choose Null Output as the audio device and click OK. Then, enable Remote Control in GQRX by going to Tools menu, checking the Remote Control checkbox and opening Remote Control settings. To note down the port number, here it's 7356 and host IP which is defaultly 127.0.0.1. Ensure the selected mode is USB and start the DSP from the file menu. Moving on to WSJTX, open it and update the reconfiguration settings under the radio tab. Here you have to select harmlib net space rig ctl as a rig and you have to update the IP and port from the GQRX network settings that we have noted earlier. Click the test cat to confirm. In the audio tab select virtual hyphen sync one dot monitor at the sound input and click OK to save. This is the same virtual sync that we have just created in previous step. Ensure GQRX DSP is enabled. With a good antenna connected to the RTL SDR, you will receive digital modes as shown in 15 meter band. Changing bands in WSJTX will also update the frequency in GQRX. Thereby, the CAD control is being achieved. Let's verify if the reporting of the received signals on PSK Reporter is functioning. To do so, I'll navigate to PSK Reporter website and search for my call sign. Here, 
I can view the logs of the received FT8 signals across various bands that I monitored during testing. Now, I'll take a moment to showcase my hardware setup. I'm using the RTL SDR V4 connected to my Raspberry Pi 4 and an external EFHW antenna is linked to the RTL SDR, greatly enhancing my ability to receive multi-band digital mode signals. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching and sound trees.